Okay, so I'm just coming back from the Met Tavern in Butte, Montana. It's my third night in Butte. And I have been looking for a town that I could spend a few nights in at a hotel. As soon as I got here, I realized that this city was something special. It is an old city. There are old buildings. They are Sometimes dilapidating, sometimes buildings that people are continuing to breathe life into. Every single person that I've talked to here in Butte has said that they've lived here for at least 20 years. I was scooting around town on my first night here and I had walked around uh, the uptown portion of the city. A lot of cool looking buildings really attractive to a tourist like me. But at the end of the day, I decided I'm just gonna ride around and I'm gonna see what happens. I started riding on some residential streets where there were just houses that were falling down, trailers in the yards, kids setting off fireworks on the streets. And I stopped in a bar called the Met Tavern and watched people play darts. I had no idea how darts worked. Some folks started talking to me. They invited me to play some darts. They explained to me how it works. These weren't people that I knew previously or knew through friends. They were just people who connected with me simply because they saw a stranger at a bar and wanted to connect. Pretty much everyone had lived in Butte their entire lives. When they say that they've lived here since they were born, I tend to ask them, is that because you love this place or is it because there's something keeping you here? Some of them had kids very, very young. And at, at one point I mentioned, I'm doing this thing where I'm riding around the country, interviewing people about where they've lived. And I told them that the time I spent with them felt special and felt important. And that if I didn't get an interview with them, it would be okay and I would still cherish the time. And, and several of them said that they would be willing to do it. Some people said they didn't think their lives were interesting enough. I didn't have my camera equipment with me at the time, but I made it clear that I was gonna be there the next day. And I saw a couple of them tonight these are all folks who are working, who have kids, who they go to this bar as a refuge after a long day of really hard work. And at the end of the day today, I didn't get a single interview. That makes me sad because for me, this has been the most impactful part of my journey so far. The whole interview thing is not perfect. Not everyone wants to put their life on display. Some of the people who have the most American, hardworking, pragmatic lives, where they work several jobs, raise their kids and live in the same town that they've lived in since they were born. Those people might not always have the gumption to do an interview with a random stranger from Seattle. Whatever this is, wherever it goes, it's not the full picture. So that, that's my very long winded getting to that point. Uh, this isn't the full picture. I'm gonna leave Butte tomorrow. Um, I'm excited to get back on the bike. It's been a while since I've been on a long ride and I'm feeling ready for that.